Speak only to Enther. Trust no one else. Speak only to Enther. Okay. Yeah, sorry about your horse. I'd offer you mine, but I'm not going to. We are on our way back to Winterhold, where we're going to try and find a wizard called Enthir, who apparently was a friend of Gallus, and should, or hopefully will be able to help us translate Gallus's journal, and thus shed some light on Mercer's treachery. However, between us and Winterhold, there seems to be something. It's a person, kind of, that is burning. And they are stood over another person who is either dead or really, really comfortable lying in snow. I have a feeling this is one of those fire elemental things. And whilst I do need fire salts for Balamund, you don't think Balamund's... Mind you don't fall off that. I won't. You don't think Balamund's forge would actually work better and give us better results, do you, if I get him fire salts? I mean, not that... Okay, it's put its hand up. Oh, because it's throwing a fireball. I, for a second, thought it was putting its hand up to sort of say, you know, like, like you know when you're trying to get the attention of a teach... In a go. Please come this way. In... Oh, did you shoot it? Yeah, no, I had this vision of it. Okay. Who the hell are you? I've been looking oh, for you. Okay. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. It's the delivery. Let's it's the notification see. for There's my a gear. Museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking no, me to hand out not. invitations to travelers. Looks like there's that's a, it. There's Let's a go. new. Okay, there's a museum in Dawnstar? I'm already working for one museum. Kind of. Sort of. Actually, you know... Ingvil is just over there. And... I feel we're a little more experienced and better equipped than we were last time. And I really, really, really want to get in that bloody music. What is this new museum? Um, encoded. Oh, that does look cool. Museum pamphlet. Silas Vesuvius presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn, a history of the cult that toppled the Septim dynasty inside of his very own home in the cap great capital of the Pale Dawnstar, free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. Okay, we could probably call in there, maybe acquire some of the uh, exhibits. Yeah, I mean, he had his hand up like he was trying to get the teacher's attention. It was weird. Fly assaults. And who the hell are you? A witch! Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. All right. So... Yes, let's get back to Winterhold and probably have a night's sleep. Now, we still have a room, I think. I think we've still got a room. And, uh, yeah, have a night's sleep because probably the college are not going to be too keen on us if we wander in there knocking on doors saying, Excuse me, we're looking for the wizard and the... Going to be... An awful lot of irritable wizards who've just woken up. And um, irritable wizards are high on my list of things to avoid. Awesome. Brilliant. Okay. We've got this horse trained now. Oh, sorry, sorry. We can whistle and have him come. This is very useful. I've now trained him to follow, to wait, and to even come when I whistle, which is dead useful. 
I had this sort of really vivid dream in the middle of the night and this urge to get up and see if I could teach Sweet Roll here to follow. And we could. It's a very clever horse. You're a very clever horse. Yeah, you're very clever too. It's not like I'm going to stop whistling for you as well. Okay, I will try not to start See? Trouble. There you go, right? Everyone's got a whistle now, except me. Nobody whistle for me. You don't whistle for me. I whistle for you guys, because I'm in charge. That's how it is, okay? Brilliant. Right. Let's carry on. We're supposed to be finding Enthir the wizard. Now, I believe... I believe the college is over there, and my god, it's a little bleak. It reminds me of Windhelm. Not exactly a holiday resort, is it? Cross the bridge at your own peril. Okay. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. We shall not pass! Um, it, what is this place? It's the college, isn't oh, it? Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Okay, um, and why are you stood out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the College. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Um... I'm actually here. I'm here to see somebody. I'm looking for Enthir. He's a wizard here, apparently. Can I come in? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Enthir. Uh, I want to use the power of ice. No, I want to bend the will of those around me. That does sound interesting. I want to unravel the mysteries of the... No, I don't. I just want to see what it looks like inside. I just want to find Enthir, actually. But, okay, can I just take a look? Huh. Humor is often in short supply here. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just oh. anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. Oh. A small test, if you will. I'm... Um... Oh, I'll pass it that easy. Let... Just, oh, just let me in. No. I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. No, you're probably right. Uh, okay, I, I... Until next time. There was a wizard! There was... What's his name? Uh, oh, God. The barman was complaining about a wizard in the bar. Maybe we could talk to him, and he can go and slip Enthir a note. And say, there's somebody outside wants to talk to you. It was a big tall fellow. Hi, Elf, I believe. Warm food, warm drinks, warm Was it you? You're in Can I help you with anything else? The mages don't let us go in the college. They said uh, okay. it's not safe in there. Can I help you with anything else? With anything? You haven't helped me at all yet. Um, oh, I Aster suppose... Says his paw that says the college okay, makes please stop talking to me. I, I suppose mages the need a beer every now and again. It's a bit early in the morning, though, for... Oh, anyway, you know, to business. I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? That is disturbing. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? I do. Okay, brilliant. Excellent. Yes, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Okay. You sound strangely like Mercer to me, which is a bad thing, but I'm not going to hold that against you. No, I'm not. Uh, can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Okay. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. That's the man that wants me to go off and fight giant spiders or something for him. Uh, yeah. What can you tell me about Gallus? He's a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. 
I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Okay, he was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? For the thrill, of course. Well, I can understand that. It was quite clear that. that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. Depends what's through the window, I guess. How did you meet him? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute <laughs> comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Okay. And what exactly is a Falmer? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous mm. society. Yum. Sweet rolls are irresistible. Sorry, I'm distracted by my friend over there. He's got a thing for sweet rolls. You will get used to it, but it 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 can be distracting. So they were like your kind. That's unbelievably insensitive, but there you go. Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. And what drove them underground? The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Okay, they sound more like victims, but you appear to despise them. Then I'll make... Uh, you don't like them, I guess? Why shouldn't I? The Falmer have killed more than a fair share of my acquaintances. They're animals. They show absolutely no pity or remorse. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Where's your tape? You don't mean this table, do you? You probably mean your table at the college. Don't think they're going to let me in, mate. I really don't. Uh, why did Gallus scribe his journal in Falma? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? That is a good question. Where the hell did he learn Falmer? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. Calselmo. I'm only hoping mm. whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Okay, well, I guess... Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. I'm always careful. But thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Come on in and go. I'm thirsty. We're off to Markarth. Bit of an interesting dilemma here. You see, there is no carriage here in Winterhold. So we're going to have to make our way back to civilization. And the road back to Windhelm is pretty damn long. In fact, it would be shorter, distance-wise, to travel to Dawnstar. We would, of course, have to go via the coast, which is not too bad. And then we could get a boat. Uh, no, that's the wreck of the Asherah. We can get a boat to Solitude and then take the carriage from Solitude to Markarth. And the reason I'm thinking that journey might... I mean, I know, I could just take the horse here. It's probably about the same time, even though the distance is greater. It's on a horse. But I'm thinking of walking along the coast because I really do want to call in and locate this Akaviri Brass token. Time-wise, it's probably going to take about the same amount of time to get to there and do that as it would to get to Windhelm and then take a carriage. Of course... A boat, then to Solitude, and we could actually check out this museum in Dawnstar as well. And then just take a carriage down. It's barely adding any time to our journey. And it does give me an opportunity to try again. 
and I honestly think this time we have a better chance. What do you think? What do you think? We have to leave the horse here, though. I don't really fancy the idea of... Um, well, I don't really fancy the idea of making the horse... You know what? Maybe... Maybe we could. But I tell you what, why don't we... Why don't we... See if the horse will follow us along the coast and then leave it in Dawnstar when we take the boat. Then at least we know where it is, yes? We know where it is. We can come back and get it. Him. Him. Another time. Sorry about that, sweet roll. It was very rude, really, wasn't it? Now, to get down to the coast... Hi again. We're looking for a way down. There's the coastline. A lot of snowberries. If this weather keeps up, maybe I'll grow a white coat. Yeah, what the hell is over there, do you think? Another set of ruins? Not our problem this time. We need to get down there and follow the coast around. It's going to be cold and unpleasant. However, on the bright side, not as dirty and disgusting as the dungeon we just came out of. Or the one we're actually incidentally heading towards. The things I do for here I ah, Hello, Ice Wolf. Okay, I've just realised this is probably not the best weapon to be killing an Ice Wolf with, is it? No. Do I have my l I must have been annoying absolutely everybody I spoke to. I was glowing the entire time. Okay, is the horse following us? Stinky wolf. Wood stinky wolf. With the with the with the Again, furball. Can we get you something for that? Okay. Oh, the horse is following. Clever sweet roll. Good sweet roll. Yes. Okay. Now, this weapon's got poison on it. I'd prefer to save it if possible. It's going to... If you attack my horse, I will not... Okay. Not be happy. Big yes, big bad kitty. Get the big bad kitty. Get the big bad kitty. Whoa. Bad kitty. Very bad kitty. Okay. Tough kitty. Whoa. Your arrows do like a thousand times more damage than my... Okay, I have the saber cat though. That is, that is pretty nice. It can both ravage and restore your health. Yeah, I thought I had a pretty good poison on this. Oh, it's the slow poison. It does seven damage for ten seconds every second. So I should have just run away and let it kill it. Or let you shoot it. That's the other option. Pretty sure I've got poison on this one still. Yes, okay. Now. Oh. Clam me. Don't mind if I do. We're going over there, right? I'm trying to remember what the best way over there was. I, I, I think the best way over there is on horse. Because I don't think the horse will object to getting its feet wet quite as much as I will object. Oh, God. Oh, no. I thought you could jump that. I thought you could jump. I've now got a wet bottom. Oh, that's horrible. Yes, it is. Wet bottom. I guess it's better than a wet chest as well. However. There it is. That's the path. Now. I'm trying to remember how the hell we got over there. Okay. What is that? Knights of the Nine. Okay, heavy armor. Not particularly useful, but... Okay, thank you very much. And 
Oh. A locked box. Nice. And ring, signet ring of Sir Amiel. And a scrawled note. Guardians of the Divine? Guardians of the Divine. Looking for additional text concerning lost relics of the Knights of the Nine. Find the ring of Sir Amiel. Completed. Find the ring of Sir Amiel. Okay, what the hell? Scrawled note. We have been set upon at every turn, but thus far we have been able to thwart the Thalmor efforts of obtaining the relics of the Divine Crusader. As far as I know, my brothers have all fallen at their hand, but something tells me that they achieved our goal and the relics are safe at least. Should the Thalmor happen upon any of the chests, there is no power short of the Divines which can open them, aside from the ring I bear, that is. Okay. I will keep it safely locked away here. Oh dear. <laughs> um, and hold the banner as long as possible, but I fear that the elements will overcome me before help arrives, and even before the Thalmor could find me. My only hope is that whoever discovers this ring will safeguard it, for it is the key to the legacy of Polineal White Strake and the Order of the Nine. Divines protect me. Oh yeah, absolutely. I will safeguard this and all of the other things it will give me access to. Yes, indeed. Skyrim definitely seems to be a land of lost artifacts and stuff. Especially stuff. Yes, indeed. How did we do this? I am I'm going to use the horse. I'm going to use the horse. It is, isn't it? We've got a museum in Solitude, a museum apparently in Dawnstar, and now something to do with the Knights of the Nine. Oh, God, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. Just, just jump, jump, jump. Oh, you've done it again. you got a cold, wet bottom. Yes, you do. Cold, wet bottom time. Not pleasant. Right. This was the place where we had the horrible premonition that things were going to go monumentally badly for us. Do you remember, Inigo? We stood here and we looked at it. We stood here, we looked at this cave, and you said to me, this is a bad idea, we should leave right now. Where are... Inigo? As I was saying... Oh my God, you look cold. Dude, you look frozen! You look really cold. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. And, um, yes. Things are going to go better this time. Aren't they? Retrieve Arundel's journals. Oh, yeah. I have another task here. The, uh, the barman. Uh, the flagon. Yes. Right. Okay. So. Now. It's the premonition we had was ghosts, if you remember. Which um, had uh, a tendency to lob magic. Now I've got silver with an anti-magic poison on it. Yes, I do. And I've got this. Thing is, is undead generally don't respond well to poison. No, they don't. Okay then. So. Ingvin. Let's hope things go better than you expect it to go. Yes, indeed. I'm not hearing anything. Do you think it's safe to have? I mean, it doesn't give off a huge amount of light, does it? It's It's... Really? You need to go. Please don't go there. Please don't go there. Please. Or roll. Please stop rolling. Please just. I'm hearing. Yes, I am. Let's. Is that? I'm hearing Draugr. I'm. Okay. Stay out of sight. Stay out of sight. 
can I deactivate that torch? Can I deactivate that torch? I don't think so. I think he's looking this way. Wait till you hear footsteps. Oh no, he's turning again. Stop looking this way. There's too much light here. We don't... I, I actually suspect... Oh no, we... We, 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 we can't. We, we, we can't take these sconces out. They're not torches, actually. They're sconces, I think. I think that's the technical term for it. See, he's seen us. You, specifically. You stood in the middle of the bloody light sources. Alright, here we go. We're on. Nice. Oh God, he's going to do that thing! Okay. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Right, one down. We've got another bow. Use up. Don't think I need... Oh. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. Yes. See? Okay, don't get cocky. Do not get cocky. Do not get cocky. Remember why you're here. You're here to find a coin... And maybe a journal. And then you want a GTFO. And give the good news to the guy in the museum so that he can annoy you by saying, yes, now I need you to go somewhere else. Fairly horrible. And to get something else fairly valuable for me. At some point, I may have to kill him. Oh, spell, spellcaster, seen us already, seen us already. All right, here we go. Actually, I don't have the light on, do I? Nope, he just saw us because we were stood in light. Okay, he's got ice spike. I'm hearing someone else. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's one of the running a little bit. Inville ghost. We got an Inville ghost. Bring them to, bring them, bring them. Okay, that's a ghost. Is that summon thing? Okay, it, it's, 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 it's down, it's down, it's down. Is it coming? Nice, nicely done. Ghostly run, ectoplasm. Ooh, I could definitely use some of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. It's a little dark here. Maybe we can remain unseen. Okay, we got something down there. Draugr. Extended invisibility. Nice, 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 nice. That's the sort of thing we want. I've actually got. You know what? My own invisibility potions are not that far off. I'm actually going to use one and see if it helps when going near these light sources. It's not seen us. Brilliant. Okay. Oh god. Oh. Where's where's Inigo? Where is Inigo? Oh god. Okay, it's on it's a ghost, it's on fire. I am actually dying. Okay, we are going to have to use a lot more invisibility potion. What? I was going to say, where the hell are you? Okay. Ooh. Nice. Right. Uh, I, I need to get a, uh, a a healing potion. Yeah, the, the resist potions could well be vaguely useful as well. Journal, Arundel's part one. Oh, this is one of the things we're here for. Arundel's journal, day one. It seems the cretins of Dawnstar are not quite as foolish as I had surmised. They found my experimentations and needless to say, were not pleased with what they saw. No matter, my work can only flourish without the distractions of living among the un unenlightened. 
I have found a cave off the north coast of Skyrim that will be more than sufficient for my continued studies. The ruins of Ingvild should hold the materials I need to learn more... Sorry, I need to learn more about reanimating and enslaving the dead. Okay. On a personal note, I will miss the young maidens of Dawnstar. Such beauty was intoxication. I often found my thoughts wandering around them, imagining secret encounters between myself and one or two of the local girls. Okay, well that's fair enough, I suppose. Oh, no, I want to take that. One of four, right. Okay. Still a little low on health. Didn't really do a huge amount of damage. Does that look... I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of expecting something to pop out any second now. No? Okay, fair enough. So... Journal 1. I can't remember what... It was Veckel, his name is. I can't remember. He said I was looking for a friend. I think he said his friend was Arundel. But if so, his friend sounds a little, um... Special. Shall we say. Yes, indeed. I wish I could turn these off. Yes, I do. Okay. So, where would the second one be? I'm hit. Where is, where is Inigo? Inigo, 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 Inigo where, where are you? Inigo? Inigo. Seriously, where is he? Okay, fine. I gave him long enough. I say that like, like I don't need him. There's a ghost there. I just... I don't think they do use magic. Invisibility. It's only 30 seconds, so you need to use it and use it well. Ghost, 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 ghost. Just one ghost. I can. There. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. I can pick pockets on ghosts? Are you insane? Good practice. Oh, nice of you to join me. Right. I need maybe seven or eight more hundred potions of invisibility, though, if I'm going to do that. Yes, indeed. Oh, what does that look like to you? All right, never mind. Okay. I've got two more potions left, I think, on the invisibility front. Yes. I'll save them for... a need. It's too well lit here. Okay. Oh, okay. Is this going to be one of those ones that uh, scourge? I think they do the shouty thing. I don't really want to be close to the... Okay. Oh, he's done his thing. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot him again. Oh, God. Okay, I heard something else. I think that was a ghost, though, because that sounded like a woman's voice. I'm not saying they can't be female droga, but they normally sound a bit more. I knew I'd find you. you oh. To see okay. Oh. 
Oh god. Good. Yes, that's because it's fire. Okay. She had septims on her. I've just realised I should start picking their pockets. Wait, minute, where the hell did she come from? Where the hell did she come from? What did we miss? What did we miss? Hmm. Okay. I'm getting a lot of confusion inside my own head. Did we miss something? I'm pretty sure we checked down there. All right. Did someone drop on us? I mean, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. They can appear behind you. Yes? Ghosts. It's kind of what they do. Okay, I can still hear that one moving around. The music is kind of ir irritating me now. <sighs> it's a little stressful. Okay, chest. Something is padding around here. They just don't know where. It's probably below, right? Was it underneath us we were hearing? Probably. All right. Yeah, I think it's in there. And again, a sconce that we cannot turn off. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. Okay, nice. All right. Yes. Yeah. What is in there? Be something nice. Be potions of healing. Oh. Stam plentiful stamina. I actually don't need stamina very often. We can have a regenerate stamina potion. I don't know how long they last. Uh, regenerate stamina for 300 seconds. You know what? I'm going to take one. Just. I, I could probably do with something that's like regenerate health. I just don't have an awful lot of uh, useful potions at the moment. Which is monumentally annoying. I need to become a better alchemist, obviously. There is actually a, a perk that allows you to make two things at once. Very nice. Twice as many doses of everything. Okay. Please don't do that. Another journal? Moving across. Right, we've got foot pads, foot, pa foot paddy paddy sounds of the Draugr, and we got a ghost. Journal, Arundel's Part 2. Day 8. I have established a temporary workstation in the cold caves and have found multiple burial chambers within the snow and ice. While in the first chamber I exhumed a few test subjects, all female, I was stunned to find my mind wandering again to the women of Dawnstar as I examined my find. At first, I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself re-evaluating. Dot, dot, dot. Day 9. The first trials went splendidly. Each subject was reanimated in a state of total complacency, bending to my every task and whim. I've ordered a few of my new servants to guard the island, while the rest will act as my personal entourage, standing by me at all times, standing watch over me while I sleep. Yeah, that's not... Uh, scroll of Raised Zombie? Oh. Dude, can you not... Can you not sense them coming in? Okay. Don't ask them to hit you again. Okay. Look, it's just, there's, there's another one, I think. It's, oh, God. Are you being shot by arrows as well? 
I think you are. Where, 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 where is it? Where is it? Ow! In a go! Not a good place to be. We can't see them and they can see us. Come to me. Come to me. Come here. No, no. Just. In you go. In you go. I'm going to put my finger away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Tactical relocation time. Ta I want you to wait here. Wait here. Wait here. Wait here. I want tactical retreat. We need to be able to see them. And we can't see them very well there. Okay, dude. Ooh, that's a drug of death, Lord, dude. Drug of death, Lord. Dude, drug of death, Lord. What we want to do is bring him over here. Come to me. Just. It's just okay. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, he's got his power again. Come on. I've got him. I've got him on fire. Oh, God. I'm. Okay, I've no idea what he said. I'm out of. Nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. Out of bloody potions again. Oh, wow. Okay. This. This is going better than you imagined last time, but not as well as I had hoped this time. I really am very interested in the advanced lab and lab skeever combination. I also quite fancy green thumb being able to make twice as many potions and double toil and trouble getting twice as many potions out of it that would be a total of four times more potions really and that all of those sound really really nice those are the things i really really want that and of course the uh, the ability to poison people directly without stabbing i mean by you know coating them in a substance in a stealthy manner However, right now, I feel like I need something more immediately useful. And it occurs to me that could be sneak attack. It could also be light armor. I, I don't really wish to be in combat very much, but occasionally I'm going to get spotted and need to move quickly to uh, relocate and survive. I think this is 20% more armor. I've already got 20% on this rank. If I take a second rank, it is 20%. Uh, sorry, 40%. Armor rating of light armor increased by 25%. This is going to make me a little tougher. And I, I, I have to admit, I am interested in light armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when warm. I, I'm not really imagining much else there. But both of those seem ridiculously useful right here, right now. So. Heads, tails. Yes, light armor, heads, sneak, tails. There you go. And heads. Light armor. Save you're behind rather than stabbing other people's fair enough. Uh, oh, do I want light armor mastery or do I want... I think I actually want this one. That, that, that gives me probably slightly more bonus and then the option at some point to take unhindered. I'm not saying I won't take the one below as well. Okay, light armor fit it is. Lady Look has spoken. So, okay, I might need to recharge this at some point. Onwards. We've already checked. That. We did check that. Yes, we did. So, we still have two more journals left. I do hope I haven't missed one, although the fact that I found the second one does tend to make me think I'm going to find them. In numerical order. Is that a door? That is a door. I wish I could extinguish these things somehow. Like, I don't know, get a little cup. Just place it over it and snuff it out. Although, to be honest with you, there is a side of me thinking, you know what, turning lights off is almost a big, as big 
an indication that someone is there as having your own light source out. Okay. Oh, potion of vigorous stamina. Now, I've actually got a potion. Yes, I've got one of those long-lasting regenerate stamina potions. It won't last much longer. Journal, part three. Day 21. An intriguing development. Tonight, my guards have brought me a trespasser they found near the cave. At first, I was understandably upset. Not only was I disturbed during one of my few moments alone with my favorite servant, but I recognized the trespasser as a milkmaid from Dawnstar. She remembered me as well, and made bold claims that I had been lurking near her at all hours. What lies? True, I'd taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of maidens in town. Her continued accusations, coupled with my fears of more uninvited guests, led me to conclude that she would never return, she could never return, to Dawnstar. My servants were quick to carry out my sentencing. Her body is here next to me as I write this. Funny, her eyes are still so full of life. Perhaps I will try a new experiment tonight, using fresher materials. <laughs> Oh, I need to take that with me. Um, somewhat icky. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. At Ingvild Throne Room. Yes. We're off. To meet the king. Okay. okay. We have glow. We have ominous sound. And we have more light. Ghosty ghost. All right. Can this ghost see this far? I'm right in front of a light. Okay, dude. Uh, oh, no, I need to... Um... Oh, no, I've already got it selected. Of course I have it. Come back safe. Right. I just... Uh... You're pretty sneaky, but you're not very good at avoiding light. Am I? Okay. That, I assume, is the king. That is also a living person. So... How the hell to do this? Okay. Right, you know what? Um, do I have, I've got Fortify Sneak and Invisibility. It's just two of them. It's just two. Okay. Can I get up? Can I not get up here? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So. Do this. Is that a head on her belt? Okay. Do I have? Yeah. None of this is really, really going to help. No, it's not. 
Uh, ice Wraith resist 20% damage for 60 seconds. These guys do like their frost, don't they? Okay. Drought. 30%? Aversion to magic? No, fear, fear. No, they're going to be in... Well, I don't know about the guy. Who the guy is, that's the thing. Should I go for the guy? Should I go for the guy? Resist shock, eh? Okay. Just chug them all. Chug away. Aaron Dill. This is the book writer. Maybe we kill him first. Oh, yeah. Do I have a poison on this? I do already. I've already got a poison. I'd like to put one of my super special poisons on it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Anti-magic poison. I can pickpocket him. All right. You know what? He's got a key. In fire. What the hell is this? Uh, I tell you what I don't need to do right now. I don't need to practice my pickpocket and fail. So, let's call Inigo. He will distract them. I stab. Although, I've just realized I'm whistling behind two people. That's stupid. Let's stab him. Go invisible, then call him. Is she yawning? I think she's yawning. What was that? Oh, he's healed! He's healed! Potion of uh, extended invisibility and run! In it go! Something's coming my way! He's healed! Oh! Okay! Good plan! Lousy execution! and people up to level 12 won't fight. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not going to work on those guys. Meridia's beacon. Meridia's beacon? What the hell is that? Well, we want it. We'll take it later. Yes, we will. Okay. So, now, <laughs> the plan itself wasn't too bad. I think trying to drain him of magic is too um, optimistic. I think we stick with the poison, a good one. What is the best poison I've got, actually? I have got poison of slow. Not, not, not what I'm thinking. Uh, I've already applied a fairly. Oh right, yes. Right, here's the thing. Here's what I'm thinking the plan should be. We use the Cyrodiilic... No, not the Silver Dagger. That's got the Mage Poison on it. The Cyrodiilic Silver Short Sword, and we put on it the Paralysis Poison. We hit him with a Paralysis Poison, and then we quickly switch to the normal poison. Hopefully he won't have time to heal himself. And we do this just as we call Inigo. In fact, maybe I call Inigo. I don't 
understand how these guys couldn't hear me. No, we hit him, we call in and go, we switch, we go. All right. Paralysis poison for the win. Okay. He's... By East... What was that? Okay, she's not... Okay, this is going better than I thought, and yet... Slightly weirder. How did she not see him this time? Okay, why did I come out of sleep? I, I, for some odd re for some odd reason, I just decided. To, oh, that was stupid. Things were going so not terrible. Shoot it! Well done. I got completely confused by the fact that she just ignored him. Oh, well, yeah, uh, wait, well, the sleeping lady up, ghost, sleeping ghost. I got completely freaked out. Anybody there? No.